Well, I guess I'm going dirt digging today. I showed you my little footprint yesterday. This is my old relic shovel. I carry it with me. It's a, a Lachey, I think, from years. I bought it used 10 years ago. I started using this pick most of the time. It's a button patch because of the roots and stuff. I use a duck hunter's vest with my digger, my pin pointer. It's got two pockets. And on the back, it's got a big thing where you're supposed to put your ducks in, you know, all back in through here. Opens up. I put all kinds of crap back there, water and everything. I'll show you what it looks like when I put it on. I'm going to go by and get my little, I have a smaller relic shovel. It's a, a predator. It's pointed right here. It's only about, it's only about this big. Here's your hand. I let the guru bar it five or six years ago. I'm going to go by and get it this morning. I may use it. I'll get back to you. Well, this is the road to the button patch. And these, as you see, it's a heavy wooded area. When we first started hunting it, that's what it was like. This is the property that borders up next to it. After about six or eight months or a year, we got a thousand million shotgun shells and modern bullets then we started finding some buttons and then four or five years later he cleared the whole field cut every all the trees down and we found some nice buttons in and then it all growed up we couldn't uh, we hadn't been back but it's been cleared again but not recently so it's got a little bit of growth to it according to FedEx Jimmy who was here the other day he brought the gig master over here there's another field over to the left that was never cleared. It was just real cleared about a month ago, so it should be okay. I'm not sure, I'll get back to you. I see a car down here now, hold on. Well, that's what it looks like now. And it used to look just like the woods over there. I got my, uh, I got my little relic shovel back from the Guru this morning. So, let's go, let's give it a try. Stand by. I'm in field two, sensitivity about 24. Right along in here, I found a large scent. There's only two coins ever found here that I know of. One here and one way up over there. And that was a three cent piece. Just buttons, all pre-Civil War buttons, 19, 1820s, 30s, Marine Corps, Navy, and some Royal Marine. I'll show you some pictures of them when we get home. I still have all of them. Almost all of them, anyway. I'll get back to you again. So you can hear it. First good sound. Or the first only sound. Well, we got it out, I think. Stand by. Well, I ain't sure what it is, but it's, I like it. Stand by. It's like a swamp right there. 
I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a bulldozer behind those trees right there, clearing that area out. We had never found much in there. A few snakes. You can see it's tight going, all these weeds sticking up. That's why I brought the six inch coil. That's the reason I bought it, I should say. I dug a 22, it came in at seven. A casing, I mean. And I dug a square nail, cat brass nail or some kind of nail, but it was choppy. 15, I think. I don't remember. That's been, that's been it, three targets. No, I did dig a whole can, a, uh, like a spray can or something. Probably used on one of the tractors or something. A lot of iron in here. I don't remember all this iron being in here. I'll get back to you. Well, I tell you, I'm impressed. That's got to be at least a foot. 14 inches deep there's a pile of dirt my first shotgun shell in 10 years an ox can get them well I've been here an hour I dug a, a big heavy 9 millimeter I don't know what size bullet was just a minute ago but the last two targets I dug I got so dizzy when I stood up I like to lost my balance two or three times. I don't know if it's the blood pressure drugs new one I'm taking or somebody don't like me bending over and standing up, I can tell you that. So I'm going home and there's a culprit that does all the work. I think it's a Massey Ferguson. That, that they got some, got some area right there. Two great big cutters gang of wheels <laughs> okay might see you back here tomorrow it'll be cold tomorrow 49 i'll see how it goes when i get up we'll see stand by and don't remember ever digging any nails believe it or not from that spot but i guess that's what that is square nail i don't know what this is Little piece of metal, 22, 10 gauge, UMC company, new club it says. I don't know, maybe 45. And the first target of the day. It looks like it was blue in color at one time. It's got a touch of blue right there. If you can see it. But I got no clue what it is. Here's what we're looking for. This is some of the last hunt I had. I got some more somewhere, but I can't find them. This was the coolest one. It's like an artillery. It's got a cannon with wheels and a flack of cannonballs underneath of it. I like a little flower button. I'll put a better picture in there so you can see it. This is what we find most of. World War, I mean, 1830, 1820 stuff. According to the bucket, the book button book I had one time. Not I didn't have, but a friend of mine had one. It's just a plain old flat one. I never did see a design on it. We've got plenty of stuff on the back, though. This is a cool one. U.S., it says. I forgot what this was now. I, I knew one time. Anyway, that's what we're looking for. They all come in between 12 and 17. Might go back tomorrow. Depends on how I do. I got another spot I'm going to try too, 
but I can't drive there. I got to be dropped off. There's no place to park. Cause I drop me off and pick me up when I call her. And it's not nearly as far away. This spot here is a right good steam for me to get there. All right, here's my uh, duck hunting vest. My digger's here, my pin pointer's right here. I have a big pocket over here that's closed. I have a pocket here for all my junk. And in the back, there's where you put the ducks. There's all kinds of stuff back here. But this thing's like eight or nine years old. I've had it for a long time. My relic hunting equipment. Okay. And while I was out digging, I got two more knives. I got another bench made and a pocket knife from that same guy. He got a lot of knives, that guy has. <laughs> 